What's up guys, Simon here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the crazy cryptocurrency reset that is happening. Over a trillion dollars has gone down from cryptocurrency just in the last several months alone. Cryptocurrency seemed like the coolest, fastest way to become a millionaire. There was the Dogecoin millionaire who nearly made several million dollars off Dogecoin. I did a video on him, how he lost several million dollars in Dogecoin and did not sell. To other cryptocurrency investors that have lost so much money recently in cryptocurrency, I personally almost made a million dollars off cryptocurrency as well and did not sell in time with Dogecoin. You could check out the video on Dogecoin where I invested $75,000 at seven cents. I'm worried about it, it's at eight cents now, but overall I still made some money in cryptocurrency where a lot of people have lost money and it's sad. The great cryptocurrency reset is here unfortunately. Bitcoin has dipped, Ethereum, Luna lost 100% or so of its actual value wiping out billions of dollars. It's incredible. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the great cryptocurrency reset, what I think is gonna happen with cryptocurrency, what we should be focused on or potentially investing in if we are gonna go ahead and ride the next wave of cryptocurrency. Before I get into this video, I ask that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate it. It's the biggest favor you could do for me. Let's get into this video. Digital asset investors lost nearly a trillion dollars. That is intense. It's insane. That's how much money was floating around. And there's still so much more. Luna, which was one of the most surprising cryptocurrencies that promised to do what Bitcoin could not do, has tumbled. It just fell so fast and so flat that people have lost so much money. And before we know, and to understand cryptocurrency, there have been already five different resets in cryptocurrency in its history to where we got today. The first one came in 2014 when there was just basically Bitcoin in the world. There were stories of people buying pizza with Bitcoin that would cost now, you know, a million or so dollars. The second was in 2016 when the Dow hack came out and that was a nearly half a billion dollar hack. Now, in 2014, Bitcoin also got hacked for nearly half a billion dollars and people thought this was not gonna be a safe and secure thing to invest money in. The hack that happened in 2016 gave nearly $60 million in Ethereum away. It was a trick and today that $60 million would be worth $8 billion. The biggest one, I think, or the third, was in 2018. Now, do you notice these patterns? 2014, 2016, 2018? Maybe there's a 2020 and the 2022. In 2018, an ICO occurred and the bubble popped. It started a year-long decline, wiping out 60% of the cryptocurrency market. Mostly were junk tokens. The net worth was nearly 700 million of just coins that people call shit coins. And as I predicted, the fourth took place in March, 2020. It seems that every two years there's a cryptocurrency reset and we are in one right now in 2022. In 2020, the cryptocurrency market was not affected because it's a two year pattern, but because of the global pandemic. In March of 2020, cryptocurrency has lost nearly 40% of its value due to financial collapse. But each crash in cryptocurrency has led to innovation and higher market capitalization after they got out of the crash. New companies came out like Kraken, Coinbase, and others legitimizing the cryptocurrency trade. Now Coinbase is struggling nearly 75% off its year to date. You could check out my stock market crash video. It's on the channel live now where I go over some of the top stocks that have been crashing. And that really leads us to this today's date, which is the fifth cryptocurrency crash and the one that we're experiencing right now. Personally, we've seen Dogecoin go from nearly 75 cents to eight cents. We've seen Bitcoin 
come down from a high of 65,000 to below 30,000. Ethereum was near 5,000, it's trading below 2,000. Cardano hit over $2, nearly $3, and now it's trading below 50 cents. But nothing has been affected more than the crazy crash of Luna. The $40 billion digital token called Luna got wiped out. It was backed by 16 billion Terra coins, which was supposedly a stable coin. However, no one has proven why it's a stable coin in the past. No one has seen Terra actually have the amount in the US dollars that they claim to have in that amount as a backup. And it was a perfect storm of greed and technology losing its value between May 7th and 12th when the $56 billion valuation disappeared and turned to shambles. Luna meant nothing. Now, cryptocurrency is one of those get rich quick schemes. There's a lot of schemers and fraudsters out there. There's people that impersonate each other to try to get your coins. It just really shows you that you may not get rich quick by just investing in cryptocurrency. In fact, more of it is luck than an actual investment. I always tell you guys, check with your financial advisors before you do anything drastic or crazy. Cryptocurrency is a gamble. And even with my investments, I know I've made gambles and I've lost some money. In fact, recently I've lost over $5 billion SafeMoon tokens by just switching from SafeMoon 1 to SafeMoon 2. And the value at one point was over $28,000 when I lost that token with the crash that's happening. It was only valued at $3,000. Contacting SafeMoon has done nothing for me and SafeMoon is going through an investigation. I hope to turn in what I have so that it helps the case. So the Luna crash was just a bad structure and an over leveraged problem. People have made investments thinking it was the next big thing. It just wasn't that good of a software to really invest in. And you have to think of cryptocurrency as two things, money and software. If you're investing it as a coin, then that's the financial aspect. For example, Bitcoin being a legal tender in many countries will potentially keep the Bitcoin balance higher. If you're thinking it of it as a software and you look at, say, Ethereum and other software out there, that's a good investment. So if you believe the company is providing some type of answer or a solution to a problem such as a software, that's a different way of looking at it. And you have to make sure you bet on the biggest companies or the best potential software driven companies. For example, Dogecoin right now is not a software and it's looking to be as a cryptocurrency exchange or a currency exchange. I'm looking forward to the day that Elon Musk will take it and make it a potential software. Not only did people lose a lot of money in the Luna or Terra cryptocurrency recession or drop, but a lot of investment firms have as well. One of Terra's most high profile investors, Lightspeed, it was a Menlo based venture firm. Menlo Park is not far from where I live. They had over $10 billion in asset management and they were one of the earliest VCs to back cryptocurrency and invest in cryptocurrency. And they even invested in Ripple or XRP very early on. A spokesman for the company said that that investment was one of the most notorious investments for the company and they are doubling down on cryptocurrency because they feel like they are going to see another rise as we've seen from 2014, 2016, 2018, 2020 and 2022. Now Coinbase is a company that allows you to exchange cryptocurrency. I'm sure you guys are aware of it. I have a friend that works there and I said, isn't Coinbase crashing? He literally said Coinbase is looking optimistic into cryptocurrency and knows that cryptocurrency is going to rebound as it's done in the past. So even though Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum and others have crashed, Bitcoin and Ethereum actually still have a lot of value. Luna just looks like it was a greed play that went nowhere and it costs a lot of people money. It reminds people to constantly invest in coins that are probably gonna be here for long term, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think those are the two gold mines. Personally, I would check with the advisors as I always mention. However, I do have some investment in Ethereum. The only off coin or alternative coin that I'm really focused on is Dogecoin and baby Dogecoin. Those are the two coins that I have. They may be bad investments, I'm not sure. However, those are the only two I'm planning to keep around and hold as Elon Musk said, he's also holding Dogecoin. So I'm confident that that coin hopefully will rebound, maybe not to where it was before, but definitely to a better level than we've seen. So stay away from the crappy coins. Once this 
cryptocurrency rebound occurs, make sure you don't buy into the hype or buy the coin before the hype happens. As we've seen, once the hype happens, the crash happens. Things go inflated and then whales or people that hold a lot of cryptocurrency sell. So the biggest reset is happening right now in 2022. It seems to be a two year pattern. It could be that by 2023, everything will rebound and then 2024, we may see another reset happening again. The good thing about all these resets is the coins that should not be in the market are getting called out, they're getting highlighted and they're getting pushed out. And then the coins that are supposed to be around continue to thrive after each reset happens. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below which coins you're considering buying during this great reset or dip, and I'll check those out as well. Are you just a stable coin type of guy, or is there something we should look into? Thanks for watching. I'll catch you here in the next video.